YouTube and welcome to the third sitting place in my my abode this one in the garden right next to my little peach tree here which is just blooming beautifully bright sunny Monday morning here in Switzerland a um, little chilly in the wind though well welcome to the, the last tobacco review of the LJ Peretti aromatics that I have and today it's this one LJ Peretti Boylston which I don't have much left in the bowl, in the uh, tray here. That's also described as a ribbon, but there's never a ribbon. That's more like a, a mixed cut or a, a rough cut. This is a little bits of cube in there. And so I call it a, a mixed cut. Now this is a mix of Cavendishes and there's little uh, specks of uh, black Cavendish in it but not much and the rest is I guess natural Cavendish. I got through uh, three bowls yesterday which speaks for it. Got a 3.0 in tobacco reviews and is described as amaretto, nutty and vanilla. There's no mention of burley. There might be a little bit there. Oh, this is a, again a, a very pleasant tobacco so all of the ones I've tried have been uh, good definitely I mean uh, any one of them would be happy to smoke again So this is a mild and, and very evenly burning, sweet burning uh, blend. Not overpowering in, in the taste. I was trying to place the uh, flavor that I was getting out of it. It says amaretto and you, that, that would be one word one could use. It was. Uh, rather hard to actually um, find the right adjective for the sweetness. But again on the tip of the tongue you can pick up this kind of uh, intense, slightly stronger type of flavour beyond vanilla is what I'm saying. It's beyond sweetness, beyond vanilla. There is another nuance in there and for want of another word am amaretto so it's true to its description um, not nick heavy at all because uh, i smoked three bowls in the course of one evening yesterday and no adverse effects like with all of these wonderful aromatic blends from peretti So I tending to agree with the scoring that it had in uh, Tobacco Reviews a three, roughly around that level. Three out of four. It 
equipment today is a Savinelli Cavalieri. This was a, a special edition that is not silver. This is the cheaper edition, which is just polished aluminium. The original one that they made in this prince form was silver, but it was so expensive, I think not so many people bought it. So they, they came out with this version, which I, I love very much the look of it. And I just love a prince, I must say, the style and look of a prince. Probably gonna do a review on pipe shapes and the ones you started loving and the ones you ended up loving even more <laughs> as you acquire pipes. And at the moment, I'm a Prince fan. My good old uh, Caribbean lighter you've seen before. And I think you may have seen this gentleman, which is uh, Admiral Nelson, again, was described as the uh, Duke of Wellington, but the hat is all wrong. Uh, that's a naval posture of a hat, and uh, what with the sword and everything, and his staff. and the coat as well, and the pigtail at the back. I suspect this was meant to be Nelson. It's very good though. Really, I, if you like uh, after coffee tobacco blends and you wanna have a little kiss of something approaching, approximating uh, amaretto, this is a good one. My favorite from the whole series, I think, uh, was the Boston Best Cavendish, just because of that very clear honey dose that it had in it. So that's the winner of this little series, I think, for me. but all very good quality, superb quality tobacco has gone in a lot of know-how. Actually, I must show the Forsythia behind you. Hold on. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? We have a lot of Forsythias around here, you see. Whoops. I just love the gold of those flowers. And they're always the first to appear, you know, just only a little time after the daffodils. Well, I've actually been reading some poetry recently and um, one of our YouTube brethren had drawn my attention to a, bi a book called um, Pipe and Pouch. I think it's The Swing Kid. And one or two others have picked up on this wonderful poetry book about pipe smoking and uh, tobacco and all of that, cigars even. Written in the uh, 1890s but you can get a, a reprint of it in a paperback version, which is what I got. I'll leave a link down there if anyone wants to get one. I'm sure I got this from a Swiss publisher and distributor, but um, there are others all over. And uh, it kind of inspired me again to write another poem. I know, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist it. So I've tacked that on to the end of this little short review, which I have to close because the postman's coming and I'll have to sign for something. Maybe as a box, I could do a, a Yarbo next time. 
So enjoy the poem. And uh, Peretti's absolutely can recommend them. Worth buying a sample set for sure. Well, take care, everyone. It's great to talk to you again. And until soon, stay healthy. Bye-bye. Daughters of the Leaf The first she rose right from the earth, green and splendid with coquettish mirth. She called to me, Take me and raise me high. Let me hang and slowly dry. I took her in my hand and played her game. Indeed I shall, but what is your name? Why, Virginia, she replied in laughing tone. Virginia, you should have known. And so we made fire and dried and rolled and saw her change and turn to gold. Now newly born, so soft, so mild, who are you now, my fragrant child? She smiled and cried, You have no idea why my name you know. It's Latakia. I laid her down and squeezed her tight, pressed her long and ripened her right. But once again, you're not the same. Who are you now? What is your name? She wafted scent of fruit and spice, of sweet ripened things, and all that's nice. Perique, Perique, she announced with pride. Perique's my name, known far and wide. So know, my friends, for your briar need, you only plant one single seed of which will come three daughters of charm, grace, and mystique, each called Virginia, Latakia, and Perique.